Hi, my name is Carl Arnold. I'm an attorney and mediator uh, in Minnesota with Arnold Law and Mediation. And I've run into some issues with clients regarding gambling recently, and I thought I'd try to learn more about it, and that's why we're having this conversation. This is Paula Detgen. She's a licensed in marriage and family therapist, and she's also a Minnesota State approved provider on problem gambling. Hi, Paula. Hi, Carl. So let me ask you, what is problem gambling? Sure. The problem gambling is the inability um, over an extended time to resist impulses to gamble. There's an increased preoccupation with gambling and a loss of control. Individuals may find themselves chasing their losses, feeling the need to bet more, and a continued uh, disregard for the consequences of their gambling behavior. So uh, there's all sorts of gambling. There's betting on horses, there's betting on collegiate games, I'm sure, and whatever else. What other forms of gam? I guess playing cards, right? What else? Yes. There's the casinos, there's playing cards for money, betting on sports, lottery tickets, pull tabs, scratch-offs, stocks, and day trading. We have bingo, we have slot machines, to name a few. Okay, so who becomes a problem gambler? In other words, is there a certain type of person, or is it just anyone? Yep, anyone can become a problem gambler. It could be uh, men, women, old, young, wealthy, or people of any color, any faith, uh, or any tradition. Anyone can become a problem gambler. Okay. So are there warning signs uh, about problem gambling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of the warning signs uh, someone could look for is neglecting family and work responsibilities, lying about um, being lying and being secretive about finances, uh, promising to stop and then gambling again, increasing time and money spent on gambling, uh, lack of interest in activities that once used to be pleasurable, uh, convinced that past losses can be won back. You may see anxiety, depression, uh, feelings of guilt, even suicidal thoughts. And so for some problem gamblers, there's committing illegal acts such as forgery, fraud, embezzlement in order to get money to continue gambling. Well, let me direct a question at, let's say somebody's viewing this and they're thinking to themselves, am I a problem gambler? Do I, you know, how would I even think about that? What questions could I ask myself? Good question. Well, a person can ask themselves in the past year, have I gambled more than intended? Have I borrowed money for betting and not repaid it? Uh, have I felt badly about the amount that I've bet? felt the need to continue gambling until there's a win, spent a lot of time thinking about winning or planning on when the next play will be, uh, returning to gamble to win back the losses, had arguments about money centered around gambling, convinced that a big win is just around the corner, or claimed to be winning money but really weren't. If an individual answers yes to one or more of these, then they may be at risk for developing a, gam a gambling problem. Is gambling something that's just here with us, uh, with individuals and with our community, or is there, is there help out there? There is help, and particularly here in Minnesota, we, we have studies that show that treatment is effective in many cases. In Minnesota, there are programs ranging from Gamblers Anonymous to community outpatient and inpatient treatment centers. There are more than 50 programs throughout Minnesota with state-approved professionals trained in helping problem gamblers and their family members, or what we call affected others. There are also state funds available for outpatient treatment as well as inpatient services by the state uh, with an approved provider on problem gambling. Residents who qualify will be able to have all or part of the costs of their treatment 
paid if they meet the criteria, the clinical diagnosis, and demonstrate financial need. There is help for family members, for a friend, for a co-worker, for oneself, and this can be found simply by calling the Minnesota Problem Gambling Hotline. And that number is 1-800-333-HOPE, or 4673. Again, it's 1-800-333-4673. There you will find that you'll be able to receive help, hope, and free of judgment. Well, thank you. So if somebody was looking to learn more about your practice and perhaps meet with you, uh, how would, what information can you give out? Sure. Um, anyone can contact or visit me at my website, and that address is www.detchencounseling.com. It's spelled D like David, E-T-J-E-N, run it together with counseling, detchencounseling.com. Uh, or I can be reached at 507-581-0430. Well, so this has been Carl Arnold with Arnold Law and Mediation, and this has also been uh, Paula Detgen. She's a licensed marriage and family therapist and also a Minnesota State-approved provider on problem gambling. Thanks a lot, Paula. Thanks, Carl.